Can you talk a little bit about um, the shame and um, moments that you felt that you had to hide your OCD? Did you, were you open about it from the beginning? Did you tell close friends? What was your process of um, understanding it, but then also starting to express it to others and, and be vulnerable about what your struggles were? Well, when I was first diagnosed, again, I was like, I didn't know what OCD was. I, again, I just thought I wanted to be extra clean or more clean than normal people. I didn't think it was a problem. And so I was really frustrated that I had this thing called OCD when I didn't have a disease. I was perfectly fine. I didn't feel like I had to hide it at first. But then as it got worse, I guess I noticed my habits a little different than my friends, so I would hide it. Um, which made me feel embarrassed and ashamed because I was hiding something from my friends because I didn't want them to look at me differently or, you know, judge me in some kind of way. Um, my best friend who I talked about, Michaela, who's professional now, she, we became really good friends and then we started rooming um, in competition and then at the training center all the time. And so she, out of anybody, she's a person who's seen it develop like get worse over the past, I guess, five, six years. Because at first, you know, she's like, what are you doing? Why are you taking so long in the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. And I would just be like, oh, I'm coming. Sorry, I'm taking a long time. And then I finally was being a little more open with her and showing her my rituals. So, and then she was seeing like, oh, Jenny, dang, you're getting worse. You're doing this longer, you're using more supplies. So she's, you know, she's that support that's actually kind of giving me a view of like, oh, wow, look at what I'm doing. I need to... She's like I, your barometer. Yeah, like a barometer for me. Exactly. Yeah. When she left, whoever I stayed with, roomed with, I would just, you know, I would just have to tell them because I was too tired of, of hiding it. And I just almost start, like, didn't want to hide this from anybody because I felt like I was a hiding a part of me. Even though I don't like to look at OCD as who I am, um, I still was like, felt like I wasn't being honest with everybody. So when I started telling my all my teammates, because they would see little things like me not wanting to touch the ground when we would do um, push-ups or me be in the bathroom right after strength training for 30 minutes. They're like, what are you doing in there? So when I, then I became more open and then their interest and in trying to understand it was um, more prevalent, obviously. And so they would start asking me more questions over and over again, which made me have to like kind of sit back and think, how, why, how can I explain to them why I'm doing this? Because I don't even know why I do this half the time. So me trying to be open and give people a better understanding of my struggles has actually helped me overcome this OCD and get a better manageable state on it. I got to fight my way back to life.